Thanks for joining us for another video. This is our review for the High Road Max. We're here at Royal Crest Lanes in Lawrence, Kansas on the house shot. Same layout for Angel of 5 by 35 by 35 The tech details for the High Road Max are pretty simple. Any X solid cover that we've seen on the Axiom and Proton Physics and the legendary inverted FE2 or squared core from the High Road series. 257 RG and 046 differential in 15 pounds, and with a new scent I don't believe we've had before, the green apple is really nice. Despite the brightness of the color, it's still pretty easy to read because the color is fairly uniform. There's not several different ones swirling all over the place, and green is Angel's favorite color, so she's happy either way. There weren't any surprises for either of us with the Max. The look on the lane that NEX Solid creates is pretty recognizable. Uh, it's quite strong, but it also shapes pretty firmly. If you have either the Axiom or the Proton, or both, then you'll recognize the definition of shape down lane. NEX Solid is very visually aggressive across the board. It, it doesn't burn energy on friction, and it wants to keep coming. Also, from our experience, it comes as build. As we watch here and get a little shine on it and you continue to use it, it doesn't really weaken or lose angle. NRG or nano covers, uh, we kind of count on to tame down and settle in, but NEX so far doesn't do that. As it shines, it'll get a little weaker, easier down the lane, and a bit sharper, of course. That's just science and physics. But typical nano covers also settle down and smooth out. Neither of our axioms have done that, and other people we've talked to report the same thing. And once you get some shine on it, you can either leave it alone or sand it back down, and what we're seeing now is what we're going to have indefinitely, and that's an important note. There's a lot of stuff neither of us liked that well for the first 20-ish games, but that we count on to settle in and mellow out a little bit. In this case, for Angel, she likes all things high road. The natural length of the core helps it get further down the lane for her before it starts winding up, so the core to begin with really fits her game. The strength of the cover helps to get a little more traction and blend than some of the other high roads, which can actually go too long on her occasionally, or really just start missing the spot when the lane starts to transition, or don't start up soon enough when the track burn forces are left. If something like her High Road X looks good for a couple games, but then starts getting a little long if she has to move, she can go right into the Max, which has the extra teeth for more traction without chewing too soon. The Max is a home run for her. She loves green, she loves the scent. She gets quite a bit of use out of both her Axioms, so she likes the cover, and anything High Road looks good for, so it's a definite win. Comparing it to the All Road, the difference is simple and makes sense. It's NRG hybrid, so basically first generation NEX, so to speak, in hybrid form. It's a little weaker, longer, and smoother. It's lane shine here, but as we finished filming for the Max, it had gotten lane shine too, so leaving the all-road shine made for a more natural or, I guess, accurate comparison slash transition here. Now, as far as general shape and look on the lane goes, these two look pretty similar, but they're both nano-based cover formulas, so that's to be expected. They're similar enough that with the all-road being discontinued, you have a virtual replacement or something that's very close. But if you have one and like the Delta or idea of having one shined and one sanded, that's an option too. Now, as we switch to the other side of the lane, a little different story for me. So far, I haven't gotten to use NEX much on anything. It's too strong and too sharp for how strong it is. I keep getting the Axiom back out occasionally and bringing it to League because it rolls so great, but it's just too much ball or more ball than I need anyway. The layout is 4.5 by 5 by 3.5. That puts the pin in my ring finger. I knew I needed to let this thing shine up a bit. Obviously, it's a little all over the place with the box surface on it. Another NEX solid note for me is that it doesn't do straight angles that well. I thought once I got some shine on it that I could kind of walk it down the side, but again, the strength and friction response made it a little too over-under. I needed to keep my speed up to get it down the lane, but it would still jump on friction, but then not quite read quick enough or soon enough when I kept it in a little bit. Now, once I got some shine on it and gave it a little room, the, the little third arrow swing zone that I'm kind of finding to be my A game is where it looked best from. I could bring my speed down a little bit, roll a little bit more, and kind of feather it or fade it to the break point. It was still a little more sensitive than I was hoping for, but I really favor lower RG cores and smoother ball reactions. This one just pushes too much of the ball reaction too close to the pins for it to be more effective for me. Uh, more effective than stuff that's already in the bag anyway. Much deeper, and it just didn't roll or start up soon enough, but for someone with more hand, it would look quite a bit better. Now, comparing it to the Axiom with a little bit of lane shine too, you can see how similar of a look that cover creates between the two balls, despite them having wildly different cores. The Axiom blends the lane a little bit more, and it rolls and revs earlier. 
As you watch several of these shots, you'll see it not be as springy off the friction and more controllable and stronger on the ones that are a little bit straighter and closer to the pocket. That's the big benefit of a stronger core. I think I'd like the Max better on the right side where I was a little bit more rev dominant and while it doesn't quite fit my more speed and rev match game lefty on the fresh, it's going to hang out because I can definitely see some specific use cases for it on tougher stuff and I really think the pros, especially someone like Brad Miller who really likes the high road line, are going to get a lot of use out of it. As far as ratings go, uh, fairly similar to the all road, 7 for hook, 5 for length, and 5 for back end strength. I've also added comparisons to the MVP Attitude and, interestingly enough, the IQ Tornado Pearl, which all scored the same ratings. More or less shows that numbers on paper don't always tell the whole story. The High Road Max releases with the Insight on February 19th, and both will be available at your local pro shop. Select the next comparison you'd like to see from the links on the screen or scroll down to the description to find links to other choices. Thanks for watching and may the strikes be with you.